All right, folks, so uh, today we're going to be doing uh, an unboxing on this Scepter monitor. It has two HDMI ports and uh, a VGA port built in. This is a 22-inch, 75 hertz refresh rate. Should have a visa mount at the back, in theory, uh, provided it's as advertised. I hope it is. We'll see. Uh... Uh, let's do the intro and we'll get to the unboxing. All right, folks, here we go with the unboxes of the Scepter 22 inch monitor. It's an IP or it's an LED monitor. Uh, Let's, uh, let's just get it unboxed. I'm going to have to get down to the floor and do this. I'll try to stay out of the way of the camera. And hopefully this will all go in one shot. Because otherwise, I'm going to have to pack it all up and then redo it. So, since I already kind of opened the tabs up on it here, we're just going to do this. And uh, I guess we have to unfold this. Oh boy. This is the usual overly complicated kind of thing that happens when you unbox stuff. That's a lot bigger than you expected it to be. But we'll do the best we can in the light we've got and in any way we can to get it out of here. And it looks like it'll just pull on out. All right. So here we go. We're getting it out of there. Whoa. I had a long day at work, so I'm a little tired right now. A little tired. And of course, I got my microphone caught underneath. All right. Oh. Ah. Yeah. I'm too old for crawling on the floor doing this stuff, folks. But that's what you get when you get old. You just don't get any choice in the matter you're just old okay i'm gonna get it out of the box here and we'll come back all right what do we have in the box we've got our scepter monitor uh instruction manual on the back there we've got a screwdriver some screws and a vga cable all right then we've got our power adapter here i'll give you the specs on that later uh Nice to see it doesn't use much juice. We've got our mounting piece that's going to mount somehow to the back of this thing. Right there. And we've got our base right here. We'll have to follow all the instructions, of course. And now, what do we got here? This is the cool part, folks. Let's see if it's anywhere close to advertised. As I'm probably going to step in front of it. There it is. All right. That looks okay. I can see already it's not like the one in the picture. Uh, I'm not going to be able to use my Visa mount on the back of this to mount my uh, uh, Zotac to it. Which is a shame, but... Uh, I guess I'll live, because right now I need a monitor more than I need anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing put together, and uh, we'll fire it up and look at it and see how it does. All right, sound good? All right, we'll get back to you. All right, folks, I got this thing uh, all mounted up, and as you, ow, broke my knee. As you can see, lots of reflection. Here I am. Uh, this thing is huge. I mean, we'll look up, and it takes up practically the whole underside of my desk. We'll look down. Yeah, it's big. Okay. And this is just for those guys who, you know, with the smartphones, you all like to tear the plastic off. Well, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, boy. And there we go. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? 
That's exciting. Now, of course, we're going to have to get it plugged in and fire it up. And then we're going to see how good this puppy looks. Uh, I'm, I'm getting kind of excited to have the monitor back. Um, in the meantime, uh, the power brick here is uh, 12 volts at 2.5 amps. Uh, it's just the DCN standard barrel connector plug right down here. So that's about, what, 30 watts? Not quite. That's pretty low power. And uh, then we're going to go down here and plug in my HDMI cable. I'm not going to be using the cable, obviously, the VGA cable at all. I get HDMI. We're going to use it, baby. And then we're going to come back when I got a, a screen to show you. Won't that be cool? Yep. Yeah. So far, so good. All right, folks, I am back, and I've lost my microphone. It's lying about here. All right, like I said, I'm back. And, uh, okay, got it all put together, got it all set up, and as you saw, I took the film off of it. Let's see if it works. I plugged it in, only took a second, it's fired up. Uh, whoa. That's cool. Lord Almighty, that is the biggest damn monitor I've ever sat in front of. It's 22 inches. Oh my God, folks. This thing is huge. Um, and, okay, first impressions on this. Uh, let's get right to the point. What they sent me is not the one they were advertising on Walmart's site. It's supposed to have speakers in the back. So if that's a major concern of yours, uh, this, make sure they send you the right monitor. For me, I prefer having my nice loud Unsangle 3 speaker pointed right blaring at me rather than four little speakers out the back. And I got two HDMI inputs instead of one. So that's a bonus. And the 75 hertz refresh rate instead of 60. So, was this product worth $80? Yeah, even if you got the other one. It's bright. It's really sharp. And uh, I can actually read it from more than six inches away. I'm like staring at the little, you know, using the tablet. So, I'm going to give it a thumbs up and recommend buying it. Whether or not you get the correct one or the incorrect one. Uh, I'm guessing somebody at Wally World pulled the wrong one at the uh, distribution center down in Atlanta. Uh, who knows, maybe it was a hot day. Uh, but... Let's just say my life is going to be a whole bunch easier. I get to pull off more stickers. This is it. Look at that. It's Windows compatible. And it's a newer one, too. It's Windows 10. So this is actually a different model. Uh, possibly a much better model. All right. So if you enjoyed this video and hearing me all out of breath because I, I worked out in the hot sun all day and I got a bad heart, folks, so I don't do well uh, crawling around and putting things together and tearing them apart like I did when I was 20 years old. You know, when I used to crawl around airplanes and fix airplanes and do things, you know. Things change. Uh, so, if you liked the video, found it informative, have any questions, I'm still going through all the settings on it. There'll be a follow-up as to whether I like it or not. All I can say is it's the damn brightest, sharpest monitor I've ever seen. Well worth the money. If you just need a new monitor. It's going to work a lot better than my Dell, which was dead. Died this morning, actually, just as I unplugged it. Uh... But, all that being said, thanks for watching. Watching the whole thing. Thanks for putting up with the kind of screwy unboxing. And, uh, 
make sure to subscribe to our channel click the little bell so you get all the notifications and give us one of them great big thumbs up or a thumbs down Ooh, a thumbs down if you want that's okay too and leave comments below positive negative we don't care we just want your comments catch you in the next one